Hi guys, welcome to Mama Goals. My name is Perla. I'm a wife and stay-at-home mom of three. And for today's video, we're going to be getting ready for Valentine's Day. So if you'd like to see how we get ready, stay tuned. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started by decorating my silver tear tray. And if you've seen some of my previous videos before, you know that I love to decorate it. This tray is a little smaller on size, so it was a little challenging to come up with a theme for Valentine's just because things sometimes don't fit. A lot of the items that I used for this are from the Dollar Tree and Home Goods. You guys know I started adding quotes to my 2020 videos. So the quote for today's video is, if you have each other, you have everything. I really like this one because I, it's a strong message. Um, I do believe that once you're together as a family, you do have everything because they are your everything. If you agree, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Now I'm just adding some simple decorations. Um, I got this garland at the Target Dollar Spot and I really like it, I think it's fun. Now on this side, I'm gonna be adding three hearts that I found at the Dollar Tree for my three babies. And I love to decorate the kids' restroom. So here I just added a simple banner that I got from the 99 cent store with minimal decorations, a stuffed animal, and a sign with a Valentine's Day towel. Now we're gonna be making these cute goodie bags with a homemade label. It says, you make my heart pop, and we're gonna be adding popcorn instead of candy. So for this, I love to use the website um, called Avery, Avery, design and print or something like that but um, they have free templates if you go online also on Google you can find a lot of free images that you could use and you can create your own and you can print it out yourself so here I've already made mine and I get to customize it and it says you make my heart pop from Sophie so I think it's so convenient and I got these clear plastic baggies from Target. This is a card maker that I got from Michaels. I have some ribbon, um, popcorn, and a glue stick that I'm gonna be using. So I have to make 15 goodie bags and I thought, Instead of candy, I can just um, change it up and add some popcorn that they can make at home. Also, um, the popcorn was on sale, so I got Pop Secrets for, I think I got the box for $3. Um, and I got three of them. So I'll have extra, but that's the, the brand that we buy anyway. So any extras, we're gonna keep. So I think the total for this was less than a dollar for each kid so I thought that was really good. Now to complete the look for my goodie bags I'm gonna be adding this really nice ribbon. It's pink and white zebras. I had it for a while and I've never used it before so I thought it would go great with these bags. Now we are gonna get started on 
making yogurt hearts. I got these two molds from Amazon. They were, I think, a pack of two for eight or nine dollars. Um, so we're gonna fill these hearts with your favorite yogurt. And I think I did about two scoops for each heart. And all you're gonna do is try to flatten them as much as you can with your spoon. And then after, just to add some more fun, we're gonna add sprinkles because you know the kids love that. All there is to do is just pop these in the freezer. You can always cover them and then just leave them in there or um, just pop them out like I'm doing right now. And I mean, these are so good and they are so fun. They look like almost like little ice creams. The kids absolutely love them. And you could just store them in a container and pop them in your freezer and keep them there till you're ready to eat them. Now we're gonna be making heart-shaped egg bites. So I am gonna be using seven eggs for this, a splash of milk, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And I like my egg bites with ham and cheese. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And see, the consistency is very different, uh, but that's what's gonna change the texture on this egg bite and it's gonna be delicious. So I am gonna be doing a water bath. So you will need two cups of water for this. Preheat your oven at 350 and have them there for at least an hour because it's a slower cook process. Now, these baking cups, I love to buy them. I got them at Home Goods. They're very convenient to use for snacks or any other Valentine treat. So it's been almost an hour and look at these. Aren't they the cutest egg bites you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, and they are so good, you guys. They were a hit. So we made this a day before. Now we're gonna be making heart-shaped Valentine bacon. So I do like to get the thick cut um, and for that reason I have to split them down the middle also. Cut them in half and then split that in half again because they're so thick. But um, you guys will see it doesn't like look so much like a heart shape. Just a little bit but I think that it still looks really good because it's the thought that counts. So I just got these Belgian waffles from Vons. They're the signature brand and I'm just going to pop them in the oven, my little mini oven. And look, see, so I like the way that, that it came out. It's not too bad. You can still kind of see the shape. I mean, it's not perfect. But now we're gonna get started. This is the fun part. This is the breakfast charcuterie board and I'm so excited because this just looks so beautiful. The presentation is amazing. And for Valentine's Day, you gotta show the love. So I got a lot of fruits with different shades of red. I have hearts, um, my heart eggs, my little egg bites. I got strawberries, raspberries, and cherries just to kind of fill in those little gaps. I got some syrup, chocolate hearts because it's Valentine's Day. You gotta have a little chocolate. And here are the yogurts. And the bacon this looks so yummy you guys and the family absolutely loved it they loved the presentation their mouth just dropped <laughs> so that's it for this video you guys if you like it please make sure you give me a thumbs up 
and subscribe for more videos. Till next time.